I recently decided to overhaul this application. I cleaned up the code a bit and I decided not to restructure anything because it's not going to receive any further implementations other than the speech recognition implementation in the Guess the Element game. I just kind of roughly implemented it and it turned out pretty nicely. So let's take a look at it. We are going to guess the element by the name. It's going to present a symbol to us and then you must specify the proper name. So AU is going to be gold, SM is going to be samarium, rhodium. If you click the wrong element, the correct element blinks twice and then it moves on automatically. Now I'm just going to use voice input to answer the questions. Sulfur, tungsten, dysprosium, tholium, tellurium, I didn't really interpret that. Sometimes you'll say something like palladium and it would interpret it as platinum, cadmium, euterbium, tellurium, einsteinium. So you get the point. I'm going to start talking about the code here. So up in my constructor, I am uh, simply calling my setup speech recognition method. And you can put this in your method here, the speech recognition engine. I'm actually getting like statistical adverse effects when I do this, so I'm keeping it outside. Okay, next I'm going to register to the speech recognized event. And then I'm going to set input to default audio device. And that says that we're going to be interpreting microphone audio input instead of like connecting to a, a wave stream or something like that. We just want to listen in on the user's microphone. We're going to define our grammar. You need to load at least one grammar object into your speech recognition engine object. And I'm defining my own grammar object because the user is only allowed to say the elements anyway. So you might as well define your own grammar so it doesn't go outside of those bounds. And then we're going to call recognize async. And that's going to start listening in on the user's input. So it's easier for me to tell you what recognize mode single is. And when you pass in single and you call recognize async, after a word has been recognized, successfully recognized, the asynchronous operation stops. And so you just want to use multiple to continue listening. Okay, so let's take a look at my get grammar method here. Now this is pretty tricky. So I've got my string stack here to receive all of the element names in my element objects. And the element names are going to be what the user is going to be calling out. So that's what we want. And I'm iterating through the element list, which are my element objects. And we're just simply going to get the name of the object. I'm actually using the name of the elements as the control name. And it actually works out because they're all just kind of single, uniform names. And I'm just going to push them onto the stack. And then I'm going to create a choices object. And I'm going to pass in the stack and call the toArray method so that I convert it to an array. Next, I got to create this grammar builder object. I'm going to pass in the choices object we created earlier into the grammar builder constructor. And then we're going to return a new grammar object from the builder object. It's actually effectively picking from only these element names. Okay, so we've got our grammar object and we just loaded it into our speech recognition engine, no problem. Let's go to the speech recognized event and take a look. So this event accepts a speech recognized event argument. We are going to access this argument in this for each loop here. So for each recognized word unit word in e dot result words. So this words is a read only collection of recognized word unit objects. We're going to loop through these words here and then we're going to get the text property of the word, which is the actual word itself. So word dot text. Then we're going to convert it to lowercase and compare it with our button texts because our buttons are going to have the element names on them, right? So I'm just going to compare the word.txt property to all of the buttons. If it matches up with one of the buttons, then we're going to check the answer to see if it's correct and then break because we no longer need to iterate through any other word. In my case, I'm usually only going to have one word in the words property here, but I'm still going to iterate through all of them just in case there's more. So I'm very impressed with this speech recognition engine 
It provides you with a great level of abstraction, but you still have quite a bit of flexibility with this class. And I've only delved a bit into the speech recognition namespace. And there's quite a bit more that I can learn about it, but I don't have any plans on using it. And that's it for this video. See you later.